Happy Friday, Foothills Church. Pastor Brian here with your weekly update for December 11. Got a few things to get to today, and so uh, I am glad that you've taken a few minutes uh, to to tune in. And uh, let me start by giving you a little update on how Cindy and I are doing. Um, as many of you are aware, we tested positive for COVID here a week or so ago, and and uh, we've been at home laying low and doing our best to fight this guy off. And um, the symptoms, in all honesty, for us have not been uh, dramatic, but uh, the duration of this virus just kind of stealing our energy. And, um, you know, we feel pretty good for a few days and then, and then we have a day that's just not good and we get discouraged. But um, all in all, we feel like we are recovering well. And uh, there was a lot of congestion associated with it for us, and we're both prone to sinus infections, so we had to deal with that. But um, we are uh, we're fighting the fight, all right? So um, thanks for your prayers. So many of you have been so kind. Send me texts and Facebook messages and, and uh, just checking in on us, some of you calling. And, and uh, we are um, we're blessed by that you know, show of love and support. You guys are awesome. Continue to be in prayer for... Uh, all of the folks in our community who uh, this the COVID is on the rise in our county and so there's a number in our community and even some in our church as I've mentioned who you know have contracted in and are fighting that fight so be in prayer for all of those who are dealing with that all right I wanted to uh, reaffirm our uh, plans with you uh, we pressed pause for two weeks as as I had stated earlier and um that means that we are fully intending to re-engage in person on the 20th. Our rationale being that um, the overall well-being of many of our people, especially our kids and our students, um, it calls for this uh, you know, re-engagement. As a result, we believe it's essential to reopen and be available for those who feel the need to be a part or would love to be a part of uh, our in-person gatherings. So we're planning to reconvene on the 20th and then also our Christmas Eve services are go for launch as well. So um, just just encourage you with that. And um, I, I want to give you a couple of reminders. Uh, if you are in any way at risk, um, be it your age or your uh, health circumstances, uh, now is not the time to be a superhero or try to be a superhero. Uh, don't risk it. Um, we're going to have a fully, uh, f- fully kind of orbed, uh, virtual Christmas Eve service for you. And I would encourage you to enjoy that from, from home and, uh, and not try to chance it. All right. So, uh, while we do believe it's important to be open, and available for people, we're really encouraging you not to to risk it if you're in one of those high risk groups. All right, and it, and uh, those of you who plan to come, um, just be conscientious of one another and wear your masks and be you know physically distanced while you're here. Just be conscientious of one another, and uh, I believe that if we all kind of you know just increase our awareness of our surroundings and of those around us we'll have a we'll have a great uh, christmas eve gathering together and it'll be safe all right so um let me let me also let you know with all that's transpired over the last you know weeks and days our effort to balance our christmas eve service attendance through our ticket distribution has been uh, less effective than we'd hoped obviously um it's just been tough to get those tickets available to you since we're not meeting these last last Sunday and this coming Sunday. But um, I want you to know that uh, beginning Monday, the Christmas Eve tickets will be available at the office from 8.30 till 4. Uh, Debbie will be available there to hook you up with that. Or on Sunday the 20th, we'll have them out at the welcome booth. So let's do our best as a church family to keep, keep kind of taking a run at this ticket thing. And... Um, and that'll help us, you know, make sure that no one service is just, you know, impacted and then and then an uncomfortable space to uh, worship and celebrate. All right. Um, you guys know that this uh, COVID lockdown and now that, you know, the recent kind of reinitiation of that stay at home order here um, 
you know that that's been very hard on everybody. It's been particularly hard on our local businesses and restaurants. And I'm a part of a kind of a local foothill area pastors group. And we were chatting about how um, it has really been, it's been really tough for some of the business owners in our churches. And um, a few up in Placerville have said they just don't think they're going to be able to make it till, you know, to 2021. So we as a pastor church, a pastor group, we just decided to try to encourage our church family to, you know, shop and dine locally uh, throughout the end of the year or, you know, the next couple of months, whatever. And um, let's just do our part to try to help one another in that way. And uh, we'll, um, we'll maybe just, you know, help some of our businesses uh, survive this a little bit easier. All right. Okay, guys, thanks for your time. And I appreciate you, and uh, I am grateful to serve you and to be your pastor. And uh, thanks for your prayers. Have a great weekend, and uh, enjoy uh, the service on Sunday. Pastor Dylan bringing us a the third message in the Advent series on the candle of joy. And so we've talked about hope. We've talked about um, we've talked about uh, what have we talked about? Oh, peace. <laughs> hope and peace. And then uh, this week is joy. All right. So uh, all in all, my mind is not uh, functioning too poorly. So thanks for your patience. Have a great weekend, friends. We'll see you soon.